the test three section four. <clears throat> We're gonna start from number one, okay? So we have a graph there. So follow it over context. Bernard began to ride a bicycle, okay, to a town library. And then rode to the bookstore to buy a novel, okay? After 10 minutes, he began to write. This is a bookstore, right? That is 10 minutes because take a here. This is two hours in the middle, it's 2 p.m. This is a one hour, okay? So each unit has uh, how much? 20 minutes. This is 20 minutes, 20 minutes. This one is actually 40 minutes. Okay, they could some stay somewhere, but we don't know where, but they said only what library. Uh, the other one just stayed what bookstore. Bookstore stayed what only 10 minutes. This is what bookstore we are. This one should be library, okay? He stayed the library around about 40 minutes from another 20, okay? So how long did he stay in the library, okay? This is the best answer, number D, okay? Try number two. Two over k is nine, uh, two k plus age is 20. What is the value of age? You're gonna find the value of two k. Uh, 9k, I'm sorry. 9 times k is 2, right? 9k is 2. So put this number 2 there. 2 plus h equals 20. A value of h is 18. Okay? So choice D is the answer. Let's right, move on number 3. I'll make a little big. Let it look nice. Okay. The table shows some values of linear function. That is linear, right? Okay, so we're gonna find the relation between A and B or between X and Y, same things. Now first we're gonna find the slope. Okay, this is increased by one, this is increased by three. Change in Y is a three, change in X equals one. Three over one is a slope. Okay, where is the Y intercept? When X equals zero, this is three Y intercept. So the equation is Y equals, what is that? Uh, 3x, no, 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 3x, right? 3x plus also 3, right? This is y, this is f of m, this is n, okay? I'm going to this one. f of n equals what? 3n plus 3. Same with this one, okay? But put this one a and b there. This is b, this is a, right? So b equals what? 3a plus 3, okay? That's the equations. All right, number 4 here. We have two a, a table, frequency table there, okay? Total is 100 student. What is the probability of R to student? Okay, all of our students, there's a whole, this is sample space. But this sample space is not 100, right? Only R to student. Here, this number is sample space. This is conditional, right? Out of this R. So using this number 100, we're going to find out, okay, how many students that like art. Okay? All right. So out of these numbers, how many of this is a female? This number. We're going to find this one and this two. So using this number, we can find this number is 35. 35 minus 12, this is a 15. And uh, the next one, how can you find this one? This is 45, isn't it? That is a out of 45, which is what? Conditional, right? Okay. So out of 45, how many of this is female? 15, right? When you simplify, one third digit answer, okay? All right, number five here. We have a graph, okay, which is uh, a scatter plot there, okay? This is a scatter plot. Okay, this girl plot above the rate two set of data on the graph. Okay, first one is what? Test one square, the other one is test two square, right? Both what? Vertical, horizontal, x, x, so what? Scores. So, for example, this guy should have a score 60 on test one and the score 70 on test two. Okay, so this point, this scatter plot has what, two information, right? Okay. One more way. This guy says what is that? 90 test one and the 40 point on test two. Okay, you understand this one. Now try number five. What is the average score for test one? 
So average speed is what total score over total number of what data, right? Okay. Total score. This guy says uh, test one is forty. Second guy says test one is fifty. Third guy is what test one is sixty. Fourth guy is test one is seventy. This guy says what test one is eighty. Another eighty of this guy also eighty. Total is one sixty. So this guy is ninety. The last guy is what. Test 100, perfect scores. Okay? So, how many students are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can divide by 8. Okay? Kicker, you can use your calculator, okay? Let me check. This is 90, 152, 20, 380, 400, 570, right? Is it okay? You can divide by 8. 1, yeah, 71.25 each day. So that's the average. Uh, the number 6, which is far with the greatest change in scores between test 1, test 2. Okay, this guy's change is the test 1 over here. First, we can check out the difference between two tests. This guy's a 40 and 80, right? Change is what? 40, 40 point difference. Uh, this guy is 90 point, still 40 point distance. This guy is 60, 70, 10 point difference. This guy is 70, 90, 20 point difference. This guy is a 9, 80, this is a 20 difference. This one is 80, 60, 20 difference. This one is about 90, 40, 50 difference. That is the largest one change, right? This one is a 70, 80, uh, 130 point. So 50 point is about maximum, right? That is the greatest change in scores. The number seven over here. Error is a lifespan of a certain bird. Okay. A from 2010. So in 2010, lifespan of bird is about 10 years. So what is this 10 by 10? When you put this number, t equal 2010. 2010 minus 2000 zero is going to be equal to zero. 10, right? That is actually what? Initial value, okay? When t is 2010, it's going to have this one. 2010, we start from here, okay? That is initial is 10 over here, okay? Now we increase the every year, one unit increase, they're going to increase the by this slope. That is a point 0.2, isn't it? That's the graph looks like this one, okay? Okay, what is the meaning of number two? Number two is a slope. Slope is what increased by x unit, one unit. There is increased in lifespan, that's the slope, right? Point two. So lifespan increased each year, right? From 2010, right? That's the slope, okay? Each year is one unit to the right, one year. Okay, lifespan is point two, is increased, okay? Choice B is the answer. All right, number eight. The equation of circle in the xy plane is shown above. What is diameter of the circle? Uh, this is general form. To find diameter, you will change into standard form. It looks like this. H minus H squared plus Y minus K squared equals to R squared, right? This is a center H and K. Radius is R. To find diameter, diameter is what? Two times R, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to change into a standard form. How can you stand out form? This one is not perfect, right? This is not perfect square trinomial. You cannot replace with this one. Okay, but we need to add one there, okay? You know that. Always H is the half of this number. So x minus 1 square. Second one is y plus 1 square. But this number is 3 there. But you can add y. From here, we add 1, another add 1, right? Total is 2. So this is R squared equals to 5, okay? So R is not 5, R squared is 5. So R is what? Square root 5. That's the radius. But diameter is twice the radius. 2 times red R is what? 2 red R it is diameter, okay? But using these equations, sometimes that's when you find what center and the radius or diameter, sometimes circumference or some other times they asking you the area of a circle, right? 
pi r squared. This is a 2 pi r, okay? Remember all this for. All right, number 9. x plus 4y equals negative 3. 4x minus y equals 12. Okay, x plus y. Maybe I told you before I try to add and subtract. When you try this, is a 5x minus 5y, okay, equals to 9, okay? But this is not x plus y. This is when you divide by 5, x minus y. That is not working, okay? And subtract not working too. That's why we have to solve this one by elimination, okay? We're going to find the value of x and y individually. So this is for x. We're going to check. I'm going to eliminate the y first, okay? So x equals minus y, or y equals negative 3. To eliminate this one times 4, be, okay? That is a 16x minus 4y equals 48. You subtract negative 15x equals what? Negative 51. So x equals negative 51 over negative 50, which is what, 17 over 5. That is the value of x. No other choice, okay? There's no choice. So using this value of x, we can find the value of y there, okay? You can use this one, simplest one. x is 17 over 5, minus 4y equals negative 3. Move this one to the other side, is a plus, uh, minus negative 17 over 5, okay? So negative 4y equals how much? This one is negative 15 over 5, another negative 17 over 5, how much this one? Negative 32 over 5, isn't it? So after that, you can divide by negative 4 there, okay? Negative 4. This is 1, this is 8. So this is what? 8 over 5, right? Okay, this is the value of y. Value of x is just 17 over 5. This is the value of y. So x plus y is how much? 17 over 5 plus 8 over 5 equals 25 over 5, which is equals to 5, okay? That's the answer. All right, number 10, 8 times k of the two thirds. That is multiplication, right? Power of power is multiplication. So 8 times 2 over 3k, that is equals to 1 over 8 squared, or what? 8 to the negative 2, second power, okay? Common base number is equals, exponent will be equal. So 2 over 3k equals negative 2. What is the value of k? You can use it reciprocal. Times 3 over 2 canceled out. So k equals how much? Negative 3, isn't it? So choice A is the answer, okay? Oh, wait a minute. Go back to number 9 again. <coughs> okay? We just did right here to find the x value, y value individually, okay? We just try to add over here first, but it is not working. But what about minus? Try this one, minus. x minus 4x is a negative 3x. Negative 4y minus minus is a negative 3y equals a negative 15. Oh, can you see that? Both sides are negative number, right? You can divide by negative 3 both sides. Okay? So you got this one, x plus y equals a 5, isn't it? Yeah, this is working anyway. We just missed this one, okay? Or we try to both plus and minus quickly, okay? When you have right same coefficient of it, okay? Choice A is then. So this is the best way, okay? We two, uh, we take right the other way, it takes too much time, okay? That's right, okay? That's all today, okay? I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.